the charcuterie board is all about the display. You know, it's it's not bad. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a really cool video today. First and foremost, I am Landon Cher and we are about to head to the zoo because today I thought we would make a charcuterie board for the otter kids. We have some Asian small clawed river otters that are really cute and they love all different types of crustaceans, fish, and I don't know what we're gonna find today. So we're at the shopping center now. Let's see what we can get for them. One hour later. And here we have it guys. We had to get ourselves a beautiful cutting board because the charcuterie board is all about the display and well a wooden cutting board is necessary when making a dish such as this when we have our fillets that we're gonna lay out on the board and all of our ingredients here we've got some cooked shrimp which are gonna add a lot of color and extra flavor tilapia fillets which we're not gonna use all of these but we'll have to pick out as much as we think these otter kids will eat a little bit of spring mix just to garnish it I want to see what they do with it I'm not exactly sure if the otters will eat this stuff but we are going to see over here we've got some big old prawn shrimp these are just ocean caught shrimp but i think the otters will like to crunch on the heads i'm not exactly sure and lastly you can't have an otter charcuterie board without some louisiana crawdaddies so we have some crawfish here we've got to thaw them out so we have a bucket here we're going to take some of these guys some of the other frozen items and start thawing them out got our knife here because we're going to have to slice this stuff up and make it look presentable. I think two tilapia, actually, yeah, two tilapia fillets should be used. Maybe not this big guy. This one's good. Open these bad boys up. Ooh, that smells like Louisiana right there. Let's get in here. Look at this bad boy. I think the otters are gonna love these. These might even be the favorites today. Comment down below what you think the otters are gonna like the best. We're gonna drop a couple of these guys into here. Three and, and then we have our big old frozen shrimps. Now these are cooked. They don't have to be cooked. Obviously an otter isn't cooking his food in the wild, but I think these are going to just be very tasty and fun for them. The whole idea about today's activity is not just to feed the otters and give them the nutrients that they need because they get fed every day with the regular diet here at the zoo, but this is a different diet for them. It's unique, it's gonna be crunchy, it's gonna be full of flavor, and the enrichment in giving it to them and me being able to bond with them is the intention and goal for today. So. I have a lot of fun with this stuff and it wouldn't be possible without the support of you guys on the channel. So thank you for making this happen. We've got our shrimps here, more crunchy shrimps. You know, it's it's not bad, but I, I think that otters are gonna like it. A couple of these guys. And with that right there, I think we are ready to add the water. Look at this, we've got a little bit of water in here now and these fillets are probably the biggest food item we have. These guys are already thawed out. These guys need a little bit of time. So with all this stuff, we're just gonna have to wait a couple of minutes for it to all thaw out because you don't wanna really be giving the frozen items to the otters. I want it to all be fresh so that way it's easy for them to crunch through it and not too hard on their teeth. But behind us here, we have all of the petting zoo animals. So let's see how they're doing. Shh, be very quiet. We have the sleeping baby goats here. Oh my goodness, did I wake you up? Oh my goodness, look how cute. Oh, big girl just jumped up, Tofu. What's going on, Tofu man? Look at this beautiful beard. Guys, should I grow out my whiskers like that? Should I grow out my whiskers like that? Oh my goodness. You know, sometimes I don't get the chance to come in here when I'm working with Limbani and I'm working with the other animals and the petting zoo animals just kind of get left aside and I don't really think about coming in here, but now with these baby pigs and these baby goats, it's just so nice to be able to come into here and see how these little pigs are doing. Oh, they're jumping up. They said there's danger. <laughs> oh no. Hi, big mama. Hi, little one. He's gonna run down this way. Hi, baby piggy. I'm not trying to freak you out. They are just way too scared of me. You could see the little ones over there just in their little group. They are so cute. I hope they go and play in the mud pit. But guys, I think 
Our fish and our shrimp are thawed out. Let's go check on them. We got our shrimp here. I'm gonna butterfly these guys. Again, the otter, the otters probably won't care for the display, but they are definitely gonna love all of these tasty treats. I don't know, maybe they will like how we took our time to lay these guys all out. Let's see, split this guy just like that. Down on one of our last shrimp. I'm not exactly sure how many more I put in that bucket. Let's lay this guy here. Oof, this is looking nice and tasty. Get this guy to lay down. Bada bing, bada boom, Chef Landon back at it again, guys. What do you think about that? Just gonna get some greenery onto our plate. Again, I don't know how the otters are going to react to this, but I hope they love it as much as I think they're going to. And that just looks way better. We're gonna go through the plate and I'll show you guys when we're done. And we are in the otter den now, but look at this beautiful plate. You know, I didn't want to add too much extra stuff they weren't going to eat as far as the uh, garnishing goes, but oh my gosh, otter kids, otter kids, we are coming in here. Hello, hello, sweet kids. Look at these gorgeous Asian small clawed river otters. They might be a little bit nippy. They're smelling everything right now. Hello, kids. Hello, look, look at the plate we have for you guys. Look at this. The otter kids are checking out the water now. Otter kids, you guys want some fresh different meats? Look at the charcuterie board we made for you. Oh, big tilapia piece. Oh, big tilapia pieces are taken. I figured those would probably be the ones taken first just because they're right at the tips of the table. Look at them go chowing down. Oh my goodness. You see why they call them the Asian small clawed river otter. They have these tiny little fingernails. If you push in there on their little hands that are holding those pieces of meat and they've got these little tiny claws. Look at this one over here. You know, you're not supposed to chew with your mouth open. They're chewing like this. This is exactly how they like to break their food down. They have very little manners. I guess uh, we haven't taught them proper manners around here, but it's okay. We can be pigs. We can be a mess today. I'm really interested to see how they'll like the shrimp. All right, here you go. That's my finger. What do we want to pick from here? What are we going to pick from here? Oh yeah, that's good stuff. This one's coming up too. Did you guys finish those fillets so fast? Oh, oh, tilapia is definitely the favorite so far. Sniffed right around the crawfish and the shrimp, straight for the tilapia chunk. This one's still working on his. Is that stuff good? All of the tilapia chunks are gone off of that side, but you can see we've got two otter kids. And so I basically had a meal for two as far as everything was double. So shrimp on either side, four shrimp down the middle, four crawfish. We actually got five, so somebody's getting an extra one of these guys. Oh, down the hatch goes the goes the tilapia pieces. You guys are just crazy for the tilapia chunks. Look at the way they're grabbing it. Oh, 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 why are we smelling? Oh, over here with the tilapia again. Do you guys not like the shrimp? If you don't eat the shrimp, then I am guess I guess I have to feed it to the crocodiles. Nothing goes to waste around here. Definitely somebody is gonna like it. Look at the little hands, they just grab it. So Jenna, you want this? You want this? Oh, getting on the shrimp. I'm gonna hide this piece. Watch out. Oh yeah. Tilapia is good. Guys, this is the coolest experience. Look at them swimming around, just enjoying the day. Little rinse off, little wash off, and then back in. Here, you want a shrimp? You want a stinky shrimp? That's, that's tasty. It's just, I don't know. It's not really, I don't know if I really want that. I don't know if I really want that. These guys actually can really hurt me, but they're really sweet. They're used to us here at ZWF. All the caretakers love them. Oh. Crawfish have slipped down into the water. Are they gonna start playing with those? We're hunting the crawfish. It seems like the otter kids have eaten the two crawfish that were here. They've just been hunting around in the water and playing. Just the cutest little guys in the world. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as these otter kids enjoyed their charcuterie board. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, subscribe to the channel, like this video because it supports me and the otters and the other animals here at ZWF Miami. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.